I have allergies so bad this morning. Um, we have an early meeting today at Sephora. It's Sunday, so I have to do the smoke yeah again. I think I finally perfected it. It's not as like big on the corners. Yeah, so same pretty much smoke yeah. My brows are a little whack today. They're not really even. But what I was excited about was my lip combo. I really like it. And I have the 14-hour lipstick on from Maybelline in the shade 05 Perpetual Peony. And then I also have the Gerard Cosmetics or Whitening Lightning lip gloss in Nude. So that's the lip combo. My cheeks, I have um, Rockateur Blush from Benefit, Highlights at Cosmetics, Bronzer is um, NYC Sunny. And then for my foundation, I just have the CC Cream from Rachel K and my MAC Pro Longwear. And yeah, that's pretty much the only thing that's different. I have my hair in a high ponytail today. Earrings from Forever 21. See you guys later. Hey guys. Um, I'm home now. I went to dinner at my parents after work. I worked nine hours today. Um, and then we had sausage and peppers. It was really yummy. Um, I made a big decision today. Like, very on the spot, random. <laughs> Not really random because I've been thinking about it for a little bit. But I'm going to start going to training again with Kim. Um, if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while, you will remember last year around summertime me going to training sessions a lot and losing a good deal of weight and gaining some muscle. And I've pretty much, I'm pretty much at square one. I'm not square one because I used to be much heavier than I am right now even. But um, I'm... I weigh more than I did last summer when I was doing the training sessions. So, and I was looking back on past videos and I noticed that I feel like my face is not as slim as it used to be a year ago when I was doing the training sessions and I just realized that I need that extra push. I need that extra, um, that person keeping me accountable. I eat healthy and I really try to make good decisions but my exercise, my exercise habits have just not been there. And I really need that extra push. So I'm going to be going to training twice a week. Woohoo! Look what came in! My ColourPop eyeshadows! I'm so excited. This box is gorgeous. I wanted to show you because I'm totally not keeping it. But I love th This is the box with the shadows coming in there in here. There's a note in there for me and everything though. So I'll show you in a second. But this box is really nice. It's like a, a hard box. Cute! Okay, so here's my six shadows. They all look the same possibly in camera, but I promise you they're not. Um, these five are more metallic and then this one's matte. This one I know is called Cricket. Or this might be Cricket. I don't know. I'll go over these in a video soon, but I know this one's I Heart This. They're so beautiful. I'm totally going to keep them in this box too. But look at this funny note. Just a courtesy heads up, addiction to this product may or may not cause you to spend your Xmas dollars early this year. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I thought that was too funny because it's so right. Good morning, I'm on my way to training. I'm excited and nervous at the same time because, yeah, I'm totally out of shape. <laughs> so, this should be interesting. I have my Victoria's Secret um, sports bra on which I absolutely love these sports bras. They really hold you. So you can do some jumping jacks if you wanted to in these, in this one. I love the styling of it too. It's more like a halter. Anyways, I will tell you how it goes later. My vacuum came in today. My Dyson D40, I think is the model number. Just put it together, because it was in a couple pieces. It didn't take as long as I thought though. But I'm not going to vacuum today because I am going to see my friend Ashley for happy hour today. By the way, um, training went really well, better than I thought it would. I had more endurance than I thought, but I'm, I was really exhausted afterwards and I didn't want to show you my crazy red face. Um, so yeah, but I just wanted to show you my Dyson vacuum really quick and I'll show you when I finish doing my makeup. Okay, today I'm wearing the Angel Veil Primer from NYX. 
CC Cream from Rachel K, and a very small amount of my CoverGirl 3-in-1 um, in Buff Beige just to give me a little bit more coverage. Then I just used up my Well Rested. It is now all empty to set my under eye, and I also used the Makeup Forever HD powder to set my foundation. Um, for my highlight today, I am using the Dior Amber Diamond Highlight. So beautiful. And for my blush, I used this e.l.f. blush in um, Tickled Pink. I'm trying to use that up currently. And the bronzer I used is another item I'm trying to use up right now, the NYC Bronzer in Sunny. Um... For my eyeshadow today, I used this Laura Mercier Cream Shadow Base in Rose Gold first. And then I used one of my new ColourPop eyeshadows. It's this gorgeous rose gold, um, almost penny color, and it's called Sequin. That's what that baby looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. And these were the first time I used these, and I am beyond impressed. I literally gasped when I put it on my eyes today because that's how beautiful it was. Um, I'll show you more of those in the future. For my mascara, I used the MAC Hot and Naughty. Oh, it's a Hot and Naughty 2 Black Lash. I don't know if there's a difference. And then the Marc Jacobs Blacker Mascara. Um, for eyeliner, I used my Tarte in Pencil and Onyx. For my brows, I used um, my Gimme Brow from Benefit in the Dark Brown and also this M Cosmetics Arched Brow Pencil in Caramel. It's not really my favorite, but I'm trying to use it up as well. And for my highlight, I used the Anastasia Brow Duality in the Sh Sand Shimmer. Um, this is the lip liner I used today, the NYX Pumpkin Lip Liner, and I used, um, this coral, shocking coral lipstick from Maybelline just to stain my lips, and then I blotted it off, looks like this. Then I blotted it off and put this lip gloss on top of it, it's Pink Lemonade from MAC, it's a lip gloss, and it's absolutely gorgeous, I'm going to show you right now. And this is what it looks like. And I'll see you guys later. Hey, on my way to sushi with Ashley. And I also wanted the P.O. box. I'm just wearing this little half shirt. My Jolman earrings. My hair down today, surprisingly, even though it's crazy hot. See you later. I just got back from going to the dollar store, Bed Bath & Beyond, and that is what I got in my P.O. box. So I'm going to share with you what I got at the dollar store first. I went going specifically for the little tools that squeeze all your toothpaste out of your toothpaste container. Um, you know, like pushes everything down for my makeup. But like the makeup containers. Um, Elle here on YouTube was talking about that on her channel. But I couldn't find them. I did see the awesome masks there. But I didn't purchase any since I have so many to use up first. I did see these awesome nail decals though from Revlon. They were obviously from Valentine's Day, but they were only a buck, and I really needed some new nail strips, so I got those. I got some baby wipes, but I just realized that this is just the refill pack, and there's no opening, so I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's an awesome deal. I use baby wipes to clean off my hands when I'm doing my makeup. Got some blueberries. Got some bananas, three. I got this um, hot cocoa because it's only 80 calories and I figured since I'm going to be really, really good on eating healthy right now, I won't be able to have anything chocolate when I'm craving it. So I figured this would be a good alternative. So I got a pack of those for a dollar. I got one of these because I wasn't sure if they're good or not, but if they're good, I'll totally go back for more. They're the Special K Nourish Hot Cereal in Cranberry and Almond and there's a ton of five, there's five grams of fiber, eight grams of protein in this. Just has some cranberries and almonds on the top, so I thought that was a nice filling breakfast on the go. And then I got some garbanzo beans because I love these in my salad and they're organic. So that's all I got at the dollar store with that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bucks. <laughs> then at Bed Bath & Beyond, I got my mini steamer. It came in pink, so of course I got it in pink. 
Um, and I got it for 20% off. I'm so excited. Then I did go ahead and get a thing of coffee because I really want to try out my new 2.0 Keurig, but you have to have the fancy new cups and let me show you what the new cups look like. The new cups have this ring around the edge that says Keurig brewed. That's what has to be around the surface for it to work. So of course I got pumpkin spice. Heck to the yes. I almost got the apple cider one too, but they were like 11 bucks for a box of 18 cups. So I just got the pumpkin spice for now. Then I got a really sweet belated birthday gift from Sadiekins21 here on YouTube. We have been YouTube buddies forever and ever, I feel like. And she knows me very well. This macaron card is so me. It says sweet on sweet, wish on wish. It's sparkly and it's super pretty. Um, I'm not going to let you see what she wrote, but she wrote a cute little note. She got me this set of Ciate really pretty nail polishes. There's like a pinky rose gold shade, plummy pink, and then a gold. And she got me the NARS blush in Unlawful, which is absolutely, absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blush. So thank you so much, Sadie. These are amazing gifts, and I'm totally keeping my card and cherishing my goodies and I will have to show them in a haul soon. And that's all I got. I just finished watching Dancing with the Stars. Bethany actually did a really good job. Um, but Alfonso, I think, was my favorite. There's Bethany. I think Alfonso, the guy from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, was my favorite. Um, but I wanted to show you I did my nails. I did those nail strips from Revlon that I just got at the dollar store. They are called Red Hearts from Revlon Nail Art. And with the leftovers, I did my toesies. But I didn't have enough, so I just did like a pinky color that matches the hearts. So, yep. Hi guys, we just went to Costco. Me and Mama B, she's relaxing back there. <laughs> Do you wanna say hi? Hello. <laughs> um, but I needed to get some healthy snacks and just like some random thingies. First off, I'm gonna show you one beauty thing. I got some of my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. They're the best and it comes with four, four packs and two little mini sizes. Um, things that need to go in the fridge. Some of the stuff is wet, by the way, because it's pouring. Well, not pouring, just raining all day. Um, got some of these organic apple slices. It's a little bit more inexpensive to get them sliced organically rather than buying them whole, so. And it's convenient, which is nice. I got one pack of my salad that I really like. Chicken Caesar one. I only got one pack because they go bad really fast. And then I got some cooked brown rice, individual or they're organic too, and you can just microwave them, and they're, I think it's 150 calories for each, 155, so again, really convenient. Then got some turkey, one of these is Mama Bee's though, um, the Columbus rotisserie chicken breast, and got some mini guacamole minis, they're 100 calories a piece, and there's 20 individual ones in here. I uh, got some 100% organic pumpkin seeds, organic trail mix, which it's not um, salted or anything. It's just nuts, all different kinds of organic nuts and berries, like dried up fruit. Got some of my favorite cereals, Special K with berries. There's two bags in that. The Mama Chia Chia Squeezes, which you guys already know that I love these and buy them all the time. This one is the Blackberry Bliss flavor. Got some fig bars. They're also natural. There's the regular fig, raspberry, and blueberry. They're really good. Mama B likes those too, right, Mom? Yeah. And then I was so excited. They had kind bars there. And it's the dark chocolate and sea salt and the macadam or no, Madagascar vanilla almonds. And there's how many in here? 18 bars, which is pretty dang good. And then I've never tried these, but I've heard good things about the Lara bars, and they're gluten-free. So I decided to try these. I just need lots of convenient things that I can throw in my purse to go to work with. So those are really good for that. 
And I've also talked about this on my channel already, the Yudi's Gluten-Free Granola. It's absolutely amazing. Love, love, love it. And it's healthier for you. Oh, I almost forgot. Can't believe it. My Skinny Pop popcorn. Best popcorn ever, because it's guilt-free. It's just, I think, oil, right? Isn't it like coconut oil? Yeah. Sunflower seed oil and salt and popcorn, that's it. So yeah, 39 calories only. It's bomb. Okay, that's it. So yesterday I forgot to show you guys, I also got this bread at Costco. It's 100% um, USDA organic and it's all natural. It has chia seeds, so it has omega-3s in it and it's whole grain, low sodium, non-GMO and it's really nice slices of bread and I love like really hearty grain bread like this. Um, it's the honey chia. It comes in a pack of two but um, my mom took one and I took one. So I'm making two slices of this toast. It's only 90 calories a piece as well. So two pieces of that toast. I also made myself a two egg um, scramble with a little bit of shredded cheese and I used these cage-free Eggland Best eggs. And this is my after workout. I just went to training. So this is my after workout um, lunch full of protein. And I had a, let me show you, I really actually love these new Laura bars, or Laura, 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 Laura bars that I got because they have so, um, they're filling. I got, I had this one for breakfast this morning, the blueberry muffin, but I love that they have very few ingredients. Like the only ingredients are like nuts and fruit and it's really good. Let's see if I can show you. Like here are the ingredients list. Like the blueberry muffin one has a little bit more. It has dates, cashews, unsweetened blueberries, blueberry juice concentrate, lemon juice concentrate, and vanilla extract. But the cashew one only has cashew and dates. And the peanut butter cookie one just has dates, peanuts, and sea salt. Like that's amazing. They're a little bit higher in calories that I usually like to have for a bar, but that's because they have so much, many nuts in them. So it's like good fat and good calories. So I don't mind having them. So that's what I had for breakfast before my workout. Okay, so today for my eye look, I use the Maybelline Color Tattoo in t inked in pink. And then I tried one of my YSL quads that I got in gratis, number 19 it is. I used this pink shade all over my lid, a little bit of this shimmery shade under my brow bone and a little bit of the center of my eye, and this darker brown here in the outer corner. And then I also used the Morphe shadow, and I don't know what number it is, let me get it out of my palette. Number 13, this Morphe warm toned brown shade in my crease just to blend everything out. And I also used creme brulee from Wet n Wild in my Z palette here. Um, on my cheeks, I used NYC bronzer, sunny bronzer. And then I also used my e.l.f. blush in Tickled in Pink. And I also used a little bit of this um, powder from MAC, Skin Finish. It was a limited edition, but it's called Semi-Precious Rose Quartz on the top of that blush. And for my highlight, I use Smashbox Shimmer. I use my Hourglass Diffuse Light Powder to set everything with also a little bit of my Cover Effect Setting Powder in the matte formulation. And so for my lips, I used, <laughs> it's pretty much gone, Boldly Bare from MAC. And then this lipstick from the brand, what's this brand again? Appeal Cosmetics, and it's in the shade Mock Up. It's just a really pretty nudie mauve shade. Um, and I also use this MAC mascara and this highlight to define my brows a little bit more from Anastasia. And this is what my makeup looks like. I hope you can see like the pink and everything. I think I'm going to film a video right now. And yeah, that's it. Me and Mama V are at TJ Maxx, but she does not want to be seen. But we found a new Lammy for Harley. He, this is like his favorite toy, and it's all dilapidated, like disgusting. And we found a new one for him. We're so excited. And we got getting this. It's like a super long yoga jacket, so it's really comfy for the winter. And I got this throw for the sofa instead of that pink one. And it says like all the big 
cities on it, Paris, London, New York, and super soft too. Okay, that's it. So first I just wanted to show you how my new throw looks. So I leave it long ways like that because I sort of eat on my sofa because I have no table <laughs> yet. So that's why I need a throw there. And I don't like to use that really beautiful, like fluffy throw because I don't want it to get dirty. So this is perfect and it matches better now. And then this little silver pumpkin, let me get closer to her because she's so cute. I got it at Home Goods today. Isn't that so pretty? So it brings a little bit of fall into my decor. And I returned, oh, this is my vacuum. I returned that piece today. Wah, wah. Oh, lovely, a water bottle in the corner. That's great. Anyways, <laughs> I also wanted to show you. Me and my mom were super excited to find this Frolinger Saltwater Taffy. This company um, is in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and actually you can see it. Where is it? Right here. It says the address in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Every time I would go down the shore in Atlantic City, I would bring home taffy to my mom. And so I'm actually going to give this to my grandma, but I wanted to share with you guys the taffy. It looks like this. And it's super, super yummy. The best taffy ever. So I'm going to bring my grandma this box. And I think it was like $4.99 at TJ Maxx. I was shocked to see it, you know, sitting at the cash wrap. So anyways, nostalgia, nostalgic kind of thing, but I wanted to share it with you guys. Hi, honeybees. We are gonna do another presentation of cooking. I know Melissa's looking at me with these eyes, like presentation, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so we're gonna call this cooking in the hive. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, cooking in the hive. With and Mama today B. we're gonna make stir fry chicken because I love chicken if you don't notice. So come over here. I cleaned and pat dried the, again, chicken tenderloins. And on Costco, I got a vegetable blend that is a stir-fried vegetable blend. Now, you don't have to go to Costco, you can go anywhere. Again, my favorite seasoning, Mrs. Dash, garlic and herb, salt and pepper, ginger? a little ginger since it's um, gonna be Chinese, garlic powder, my Pam, some soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I, do you have anything to add to the presentation today? No, no, I don't. <laughs> He's looking at you. Boo boo. Mommy's making chicken, Harley. He knows. So we're too. heating up the pan. Hi, everybody. Now we're cooking the chicken, and I'm putting all the ingredients. The, all the spices. The Mrs. Dash, the garlic powder, some ginger. Just sprinkle it on. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to anything in cooking. Pepper and salt and cook it down until they get brown. Chicken is done. We're gonna put that aside. And in the same pan that you cook the chicken in, because it has good flavor, we're gonna put in some of these vegetables. And you can put them right in frozen, any stir fry you like. And they're gonna cook down. Yum, vegetables. And then again, you can season these with Mrs. Dash. You can season some, some of the soy sauce, sprinkle it in there. And then the last secret, when it's all done, we're gonna put in some teriyaki sauce to make that sauce to coat the chicken and the vegetables. Now the vegetables, as you can see, even though they were frozen, now they're getting really nice and um, cooked. I, I cut up the chicken. I'm putting that in with the vegetables because that will give it some good taste. You kind of blend it in. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get that sauce that I was telling you about, the teriyaki sauce, and you're just going to sprinkle it into the pot, or the pan I should say, so everything gets nice and coated so it makes a sauce. And in a separate pan I have water cooking because what I'm going to add to this is I'm going to add some Chinese lo mein noodles or chow mein noodles, I should say. You don't have to have lo mein noodles. They come like this, um, Chinese noodles used in chow mein stir fry and soup recipes. And basically it just takes five minutes to cook these down, just like pasta. Or you can make a side of rice, either brown rice or white rice, and put this on top of it. Yummy. We'll show you the finished product, the rice noodles. So they're tender 
and I put some more of the stir fry sauce in it to so it wouldn't if, stick. And now I'm going to pour the chicken on top. With all the veggies. Yum. Get a nice big bowl and kind of like mix it in so all the flavors get in there. And that is what you do. Now, the nice thing about this is, is you could like portion this out, put it in a big container, whatever, and you could have it for all week instead of going to eat stir fry at your local stir fry place. You have your own and it's much healthier. Look at that. Mm. Yummy, yummy. For my makeup today, in the crease, I have number 13 and number 62. These are the Morphe shadows. And then I also have number 22, this deeper brown um, in my outer corner. And then all over the lid, I have this gold shadow from ColourPop. And it is called On the Rocks. And then for my blush today, I have Captivating from Tarte favorite favorite then I have the NYC sunny bronzer on my for my bronzer and then I also use my diffused light today for my highlight I used my Becca highlight which I forgot to leave out in opal oh it's so beautiful for my lip combo today I have this buxom lip crayon in the shade um, Amsterdam it's tingly too, I can feel it working right now. And this Clarins lip gloss, which I forgot how much I absolutely love these lip glosses. Um, the Eclat Minute Minute glosses, and this is in the shade, is it number six, is that it? I guess that is it. Oh, it's the Natural Lip Perfector Instant Light. Made in France. Anyways, I love these, they feel so good on the lips. I think that's it, let me go ahead and show you my face. And excuse the clips, I just straightened my hair so I pulled it back. This is what it looks like. And I forgot to mention I'm using this Matte Cotton Naughty 2 Black Lash, which I've really been liking for some more of a drama lash. I didn't even curl my lashes today and they're like, ba bam. Ba -bam. I really like this lip combo, huh? I haven't worn this lip in a while, but I'm almost out of it. And... I really like it. So I work till midnight tonight at Sephora and that's about it. I'll see you guys later. So for lunch today I had another Chipotle bowl with just veggies, rice, lettuce, cheese, and salsa. So for dinner I'm having a banana, a lar bar, and some water. I might have some more fruit or something when I get home but probably not because I work till midnight, so I just wanted to show you what I'm bringing to work. Hey guys, I'm way early for work, so I'm just sitting in my car because there's no way I'm going in early. There's no way. Um, but I did go get myself some coffee. Guess what it is? You guessed it, pumpkin spice latte, but it only has two pumps. A pumpkin and non-fat milk and no whip. A little bit more boring, but still tastes, you know, like that pumpkin latte taste. So that's pretty much my dinner plus the Lara bar and I already had my banana on the way here so that's my dinner for tonight. I wish I had something else to tell you right now but I really don't. I think I'm going to get my extensions out next week or take them out next week. They're still in really great shape but um, it's just too much for me. It's just too high maintenance for me. That seems like that. I don't know, looking at me, you think maybe I'm a little high maintenance. My makeup, I'm high maintenance, but not my hair. Like, it's either one or the other. I only really do both when I'm going out. Like, if I'm gonna go on a date or if I'm gonna go out with my girlfriends. So, that's why it's just too much for me. But I feel like once I take them out, I'm gonna want them back so much. So, we'll see.